Let me ask you, buddy. Can you ever get tired of Best Buy employees blackmailing you with incriminating photos? How many times has your contacts list been stolen and scammed just this year? Your artillery is constantly thwarted by enemies more precisely and rapidly calculated trajectories, and how many years have you been working at that job disposing roadkill, coming home redolent with the stink of dog rot and hot asphalt, your own children shrieking and shying away from you, your unpopularity with all sexes and ages of homo sapiens made manifest? Are you still using AOL? Isn't it time you learned how computers work? Howdy, I'm Nick Black, hoping that you'll be interested in my Kickstarter-funded book, The Finest Machine, The Science and Joy of Computation. It's funny, actually, my first title was Inanity at the Speed of Light, turning 500 million years of catagenesis into porn, warrantless wiretaps, forum spam, and waste heat. But I was uh, worried they'd revoke my science license, and inanity waves actually propagate at less than the speed of light, even in fluorine doped silica photonics, uh, let alone metal dielectrics of even the highest K. So I was instead going to do insanely greater than 99.99% of computing Steve Jobs had not a goddamn thing to do with, and would have been too busy cozying up to Disney and listening to Joni Mitchell to learn about. Uh, it turned out to violate Apple's trademarks on the term insanely great, and also on the name Steve Jobs and on the digit 9, and I can't even get pissed about it because Disney owns a patent on the emotion of righteous indignation uh, purchased with Money Duck's money in the go-go 90s. It was a decade when America sold her birthright for a bowl of cheap porridge and heartstring abusing movies about disobedient whales. I hope they're in to wave a golden braid through quantum physics, the theory of computation and computer architecture, explaining how this gets turned into this. This is not a textbook, and that successive chapters won't necessarily build on one another, but it's, uh, it's not pop science either. I'm consciously emulating Roger Penrose's Road to Reality, uh, Douglas Hofstadter's Go to Lush Bach, the Clov Smills Energy and Nature and Society, uh, Feynman's QED. Uh, you can kind of regard it as writing for autodidacts. Quantitative, anal quantitative analysis will not be paramount, but uh, I won't avoid math where it adds particular insight or is necessary. Um, anyone who's ever read Feynman's Energy uh, Levels of Electron Lecture recognizes what a good expansion of a power series and some algebra can do. So uh, don't be scared off if you don't remember what an integral is, but expect to put some effort in if you want to get the most out of the material. It's going to be hard to write, so it ought to be hard to read. Uh, no knowledge of computer science or physics is necessary coming in, but I am a computer scientist. I'm used to thinking and expressing myself in its idiom and jargon. I similarly expect computer scientists will be my primary audience, but anybody who's under 35 and willing to keep Wikipedia open ought to be able to keep up. But uh, my fellow hackers, this book's for you. It's for us. Uh, frontiers of abstraction make engineering possible, but not when they merely hide frontiers of knowledge. The business owner ignorant of disks tries to speed up reboots with more RAM. Uh, QA analyst ignorant of symbol resolution can't test close-in shims. Uh, an app programmer ignorant of power gating means your phone dies faster. A professor ignorant of transistors thinks frequency increases will keep being enough. The database admin ignorant of large pages pisses performance into TLBs. And lawyers ignorant of all things good and wonderful have given us 20 years of digital rights management. It's my hope that after reading The Finest Machine, you'll look around and see alternating current shimming back and forth from the wall to your switching power supply. We regulate it, transform it, rectify it, send it on down the 12V rail to your CPU. There are the Pauli exclusion principle, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and Dirac's equation of the electron's motion to find a quantum lattice of energy, angular momentum, and orientation. Uh, charge particles crossing nodes of exclusion as waves to shape atomic orbitals. Atoms coming together to yield as semiconducting crystals, molecular orbitals, and band gaps. How the doped periodicity shapes the Schrodinger equation's eigenfunctions. Describing the regular flow of electrons provides some threshold voltage applied to a MOSFET's gate from source to drain through the bray lewin zones. What an FO is and why there's rarely more than four of them. How instructions drive control signals, slamming computations across pipeline stages through latches, pausing for a clock edge before making a new valuable visible to the world via register or pin. How processors and compilers mine parallelism from an instruction stream and its interdependencies. Why speeding up the clock past a point is about as useful as plugging a hot plate into a USB port, although it'll likely consume more energy. What it means to skew a loop, to unroll and jam, to dance Fandango on core, and to chase that perf. Why some problems can be trivially verified, but only solved, it seems, with computational power beyond our dreams. Why still other problems require, it is known, computational power beyond what we can dream, beyond our accepted notion of computation. What this has to say for us. 
I think it'll be an absolutely fantastic time. Please fund this project. Send me money. Back on.